Well, hello, Echo Casters. This is me, Echo Craft. If you're tuning in right now, uh, you can see right there we have the uh, Moog, Mini Moog software. Uh, it's the VST. And I'm doing this video because since Samurai hates VSTs. <laughs> but I'm doing this because it's actually kind of cool and I'm going to go through some of the patches on it. Um, and this thing sounds really good. And this is by Moog. Moog put this out and I bought it a while ago and uh, I do use it once in a while, but haven't really recorded anything with it. So without further ado, here we go. All right, so right now I just have a patch up there. Uh, let's see, let's go down here, check it out. It's like. Yes, indeedy. So there it is. So um, let's see. Uh, let's go through some of the patches here. So we've got, uh, that's called Electric Newman. All right. And what we'll do is we'll go here. And let's see, border bass. Let's see what this one sounds like. Border bass. Now, as you can tell, it's pretty, pretty cool. It's got some nice bass uh, sounds on it. Uh, we also have an arpeggiator. Uh, if I put the arpeggiator on, let's see. Let's, uh, I'm controlling this with my Rev 2. So there it is, right? Kind of cool. Um, let me turn that off for a sec. Back. Um, so as you can see up here, we have all of our drop-down menus. It's got a looper in it, delay, uh, bender. Uh, I mean, it's cool. It's got some great, great uh, features on it, and obviously. Um, you know, Samurai hates this because he hates having to use a, <laughs> he hates having to use the mouse to, uh, to change things. Um, but like, let's see, we're going to cut off here. I mean, think about it. Now, apparently, from what I understand, I don't have it set up this way, but you can actually use this with a controller that you can turn the knobs. Um, so let's go to another one. This is kind of like a chariots of fire thing, I guess. This is like... Kind of cool, right? Throw a little delay in there. Let's see. Turn the delay on. Bring it up in the mix. And let's do um, let's do this. We'll throw some feedback in there. And the timing. You notice the cool thing about this is, is I'm playing chords. So if you wanted a mini Moog that could actually be polyphonic, there you have it. You can only do that in software, man. 
I like this. I think it's cool. I think it sounds cool. Let's go to the next patch. Uh, that was the Electric New Man. Funky B. Now, if you notice right here, I can bring it up the keyboard. So it's kind of cool because I can bring it down to the range that I want and I can see where I'm playing. So, you know, way down here is... It's kind of cool. And obviously over here we have our oscillator bank. Um, <laughs> and you got your waveforms. Ooh, too loud. All right, next one. Let's see what we got here. Kind of a cool uh, lead. It's called G-Thang. Very nice, actually. Let's throw some delay on that one. That's kind of cool. Might have to turn it down a little, though. A little, little loud. Let's turn the volume down just a little. Uh, bring the mix up a little bit. And the feedback and the timing. Nice. Yeah, so I mean, you know, this is pretty cool. I like it. Um, let's get rid of the delay here. What do we got here? We got uh, human. Human law. All right, let's see. That is super loud, man. It's like peeking out my... <laughs> Let me bring that down. Ooh, that's just a nice bottom end to it, huh? Let's, uh, let's, do, let's do a little more delay on that. We'll bring the delay down a little, right about here. And, you know, let's try this. Let's see. Maybe get a little kind of like a reverby sound out of this. Let's see what happens. Let's see how we can get the... Pretty cool. So again, you know, with this type of stuff, oh, a little Keith Emerson here. It's called Keith. Let's see. <laughs> Woo! That's sh holy shit. Sorry about that. <laughs> wow. What is the deal? <laughs> so, if I put some delay on this, we should get the. Yeah, sounds like Keith Emerson. I can't play like Keith Emerson, 
but it sure as hell sounds like Keith Emerson. <laughs> uh, yeah, very cool. Let's go to the next one. Oh, Kraftwerk bass. Let's see. Oh, man, that's got some low frequency happening there. All right, let's try this. Let's... Loud man, this is like peeking out my. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Uh... <laughs> yeah, that's uh, something else. All right, let's see. Metal principle. Jeez, that's loud. Got nice sustain and the fade out. Very, very cool. I'm going to take a look at um, we have a contour over here. We have modifiers. I mean, this is a mini move, basically. Um, cool thing is, uh, let's see. Let me turn all the oscillators on. I mean, you can have fun with this stuff. Oh, might as well. Let's see. You know what? I'm going to check the volume because it's cranked. Again, polyphonic mini moog. I mean, you want polyphonic mini moog, you got it. So let's let's bring this up a little bit. Bring the mix up a little bit. Holy moly. I think it sounds awesome. And I'm just playing around. Oh, a theremin. Let's get the uh let's get the wheel in there. I'm gonna bring down the volume just a little bit. We'll get the uh the modulation wheel in there. <laughs> All right, sounds kind of like a theremin. Again, cranking the... 
Put some arpeggiation on that. Let's see. I mean, come on. Come on. Seriously. I got nothing else to say, man. <laughs> uh, crazy. What's my name? That's what it says. What's my name? My name is Echo Craft. Um, oh, ho, 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 Mingya Papi Chulo. Woo! <laughs> Listen to that. Wow, that's some. For those uh, of you that are Moog fans or Moog fans, um, I got to say, I think I spent $29 on this when it first came out. I'm not sure. I don't even remember. Um, and I have it on my iPad as well. And this thing just sounds the bomb. So... There you have it. Uh, I say go to the mo. I don't even know if they sell it anymore. <laughs> um, you could actually go, to, I believe, on uh, Moog.com and on their website. They might actually still sell the software, but check it out. It's super cool. I haven't used it in a while, um, and I just think it's really cool. Uh, there's another software. Let's see if I can bring that one up. Uh, let's get rid of this guy. I'm going to go in here right now. Let's see. Um, it's called the Animog. I don't know if anybody's seen that. This is the Animog. Now, I did a review on this as an MPE uh, using the Osmos with it. And let's see if I can get this to play. I got nothing. Oh, maybe I need to switch the MIDI settings. Let's see. Settings. And where's the MIDI, 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 MIDI? No. Oh, there it is. Oh, because I have it plugged into my... Okay, I'm an idiot. All right, so let's see. Let's go back. And I'll turn up the volume just a little bit. Now, it does have poly aftertouch. Um, so my Rev2 does have aftertouch. It's a really weird looking synthesizer. Um, let's see. You can do chippy. Here we go. And as you can see, I'm, I'm 
when it lights up docker that means i'm using the aftertouch on it um let's see we've got uh let's do i mean it's let me see if i can get the hold on here all right cool um so yeah so i've actually done some cool stuff with this um and i want to go back uh let's see okay it's not helping me here we go orbs all right so watch this so you can do some cool stuff um there's the rate and we could change it we can do top view there we go top view Always stretching it out a little bit. We can do sync. So, I mean, when you stop playing around with this thing, this is some weird stuff, though, man. It's fun. It's got a great visual, as you can see. Uh, let's do this. Watch this. This is really cool. So check this out. Ready? And as we move... We can change the different patterns. There you go. And let's see. Uh, let's do. So, right in here, we can change the uh, envelopes and the LFOs. Kind of cool stuff. back to the orbs now you can see that the pattern has changed um i don't know i think it's a cool little synthesizer that moog came out with um again i bought this i have it on my ipad as well i really dig this thing and again it is ready it has poly after touch And it's just, it's cool, man. Like, here we go. Carnival of Souls. Tell me about it, right? Odd, strange. Move this around. Very visual, very fun to play with. I just like the arpeggiations on it. I think it's pretty cool. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Um, again. We'll go in here. And let's do this. I mean, there's your waveform. I mean, it's just crazy. So, uh, check it out. Um, you know, I just, I dig this stuff. I like VSTs. Um, since Samurai and I uh, disagree on that, but hey, what are you going to do? You know what I mean? But I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him into Logic Pro if it kills me, because uh, I think he could do some wonderful stuff in that. 
Um, but yeah, you know, like I always say, you know, uh, stay frosty and stay creative, uh, stay positive. You know, um, definitely check out the uh, the synth fighter uh, episode from last night um, on Samurai's channel, the synth samurai. Uh, and I do a, a podcast, a vlog cast, or whatever you want to call it, every other Wednesday. So check it out. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Please subscribe and uh, ring the bell so you get notified when I come out with other videos. But I just thought I'd do a quick little video today, even though it was kind of not very quick. But, um, you know, like I always say, stay frosty, stay creative. And uh, I always get that wrong. Peace.